All right, guys, we talked about this as a follow-up to our last video. The reason I'm showing you this is, you know, there's so many, like I said, when I was a speaker at the Las Vegas trade show, there was over 6,000 traders around the world, over 6,000 traders around the world. And once I get speaker, a lot of traders like to counter trend trade the market. There's thousands of indicators out there. And to me, 99.99999% of them, they're, they're terrible, in my opinion, because they counter trend trade the market. We don't want to counter trend trade the market. We want to trade with trend, right? So these two setups that we have, we have the outer zone trade. We have an indicator and strategy to pick these up. We have an outer zone tra trader right here where we get to the outer zone on the last video. Play the last video. I went over this in great detail on this trade setup. It turns yellow bar when it gets to the outer edge, and it goes on your speakers. It beeps on your speakers. But this is a setup I'm doing the follow-up video on. If you look in the trade room, and look in the trade room, I'll post it now. I posted in the room, imbalance market on ES, zone breakout next. Now, what does that mean? Right here at this vertical line is when I put that in the trade room. And I put that in the trade room before this big explosion. What does this mean right here and how can we anticipate trades? These are leading indicators. It's not lagging indicators. Like I said, when I was a speaker in Las Vegas, with over all, all, over all those 6,000 traders, the one thing I got from that being a speaker out there, one, too many traders counter trend trade, and they try to fade this, this up move, movement. They use all these indicators like divergence and stochastic and all this other garbage for single tier indicators. I love divergence with trend. I hate it against trend. I love stochastics with trend. I hate it against trend. It will take you to the woodshed and take every single tick that you have. So there's a proper way to use things. Well, with these two any, uh, strategies we have, the outer zone trade and the zone trader, guys, they're a trend. Because my zone filter right here, my zones have been back tested for over 30 years with an AI program. So we know that this, these are the best zones, right? So at 9 a.m., I said imbalance market on ES, zone breakout next. What does that mean? What? I've noticed in the market, and I've seen a lot of videos, we have market profile in here. And we have a profile. I don't use a standard market profile. They use that 30-minute garbage market profile. 30-minute profile is garbage to me. It doesn't work very well. A lot of stopouts. Um, I like a longer profile. I like looking at it on a uh, two- to four-hour window, two-to-four-hour two two window on market profile. I like to see big breakouts. So this is the this is our profile. It's profiling for us this morning. And what I did is I saw this right here. We're in an imbalanced market. So if you're in between profile, you're balanced. In between HV and LVA, you're a balanced market. But right when you get outside of HVA, when it broke 08, I said that on the microphone. We are imbalanced. And I typed it in the room before the breakout. Imbalanced market. What do imbalance do? I said the target is 24. Right here. I said target on the move is 24. Right there. On this breakout here. That's my target. Target was my cup and handle formation breakout. And I have a target based upon that cup distance. That's my target. Look, it came within four ticks a second ago. It still may even hit it or go through it. But you want to go, this is a balanced market. When you get in an imbalanced market and you get outside on these low value area and high value area, guys, there's no resistance. This is not my opinion. Like I said, my opinion is worthless. Don't listen to Gerald. Don't listen to me. Our opinions mean nothing. Listen to the market structure. The market structure says this is all the volume in the market. This is all the algorithms, all the banks, all the hedge funds, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, all of them, all the programs. It's spitting out the support and resistance. You get into this imbalanced market, you got nothing but what? Air. Air. So from 08 to 24, I had nothing but what? No resistance. So what do we want to do? What did I say? I said, listen, guys, 9 a.m., imbalanced market on ES, zone breakout next. Right here where this big yellow vertical line is. I typed it in for you. Yesterday, yesterday, I gave you a 30-minute heads up on the last video on this zone breakout that exploded over 30 points. Today, at 9 o'clock, I typed it in, right right there, not 9 a.m. in the room. 
right in that candle right there that we're waiting for this breakout as soon as we broke out looking for another breakout here right here guys at 23 but it's going to be right at my target you should be long here trailing anyway uh, but right there as soon as that bar turned yellow at, as soon as we got off the microphone on the last video it turned yellow at 5108 and a quarter that's that's your fill plus or minus a couple ticks All right that's your fill look what the market did the market exploded to the upside exploded to the upside and what it do it went right up to my target of 24 and now what is it trying to do it's trying to break out again we're trying to break out again once again it's trying to break out to the upside all right so you can use this knowledge knowledge is power use this knowledge of these two setups the outer zone and the breakout this run here was 5108 and a quarter and as high as almost 24 23 I'm sorry 23 and a half I came within two ticks of my target I'm sorry I came up with this target guys back at 5108 I said on the microphone the target is 24 at 5108 all the way back here why I'm looking at the structure of the market I'm looking at my cup and handle target which is right there nice breakout all right so you can project these ahead of time the zone so here's a combo deal you get this there, there's two setups you learn in the trading room you learn the outer edge trade you get to the outer edge of the zone that's tested for over 30 years market profile has been around for 39 years so it's got us by that but this is 30 years of data saying it likes to reverse right in here look at this it likes to reverse inside outside of our zone an I'll turn a yellow bar the strategy will fire in or an indicator the alarm will go off on your system all right so if you look that is where you like to see that big push now look what's happening right now it's getting rejected my zone breakout on this live data right now is getting rejected here at 23 so if I break above 23 my kill is going to turn yellow so my 24 target is pretty good, isn't it? I missed it by two ticks. Two ticks from the high. Okay, this is how you can use the program that we have. This is a new indicator and program that we have for you guys, for all you guys to utilize. All right? Now, like I said, you can use a strategy or indicator. You can use this to catch this in the power hour for the strategy also. If you want a strategy in, you guys can do that also um, as far as that goes. As far as strategy, you can fire in on the overall strategy. All right. So this is our follow-up video. Follow-up video, 5108 pull-in, highest 24.